alcoholic Christian artist Thomas Kincaid was, past tense, renowned for his garish depictions of houses with all the lights turned up to eleven. As a self-appointed representative of God, it was apparently part of the divine plan to commission lots and lots of pictures of hyper-real American cottages, where each and every abode looks as if it is in danger of needing the fire brigade rather soon. The self-declared painter of lying would soon deliver God's message in great abundance via the divine channels of the home shopping network and mail order worldwide. After much success, God pointed out that Kincaid might also find it prudent to pitch to captive audiences on cruise ships. Critics pointed out that not only was Kincaid not a recognised artist, but also that if everyone had their lights going like that, the power grid would be overloaded. With energy prices going through the roof worldwide, the power consumption evident in these works might be considered profligate, especially if it wasn't running on renewables. For all of the visual depictions of vast power consumption required to please God, not once do you see any type of renewable energy resource in Kincaid's work. No solar panel installation, nor even a wind farm in the distance. Kincaid's seeming ignorance of carbon footprints was dutifully understood by Christians as some sort of message, and in the process the artist made himself a considerable fortune as the painter of light. Yet his financial success was not without personal cost. After a drunken episode where he pissed on Winnie the Pooh at Disneyland, God got upset with Kincaid and killed him at 54. Mm -hmm.